Okay, I'm back to show you the inside of how I prep the inside of my insert. At least I will show you the watercolor part. I usually have two jars of water. I have pick out my brush. I typically use my biggest, uh, my number 12 round brush. It's my favorite for watercolor. And I am going to use, generally I use um, my watercolors that I already have, like they are watercolors that are, um, I put them, they were a tube and I put them in a palette. I'm going to use this Winsor Newton this time. Um, I really like it. You can see the colors I really like to use. Actually, I think I used this last time. I think I used it in here for my background. Let me look. Yeah. I did my smooshing here though, and I don't think I'm going to do that for this one. But you can see I'm tempted to go the oranges again and some other colors. So all I do, I don't have a heat gun, but I just have this little blow dryer, and I usually dry, blow dry my pages. But I just, you just soak your brush, um, like here. Let me see if I'm in frame good. Okay. <clears throat> Soak your brush with a ton of water <coughs> and choose whatever color you're going to use. I'm going to use um, this brown. And all I do is just do. I just do color. I just, I like to have a nice background of color. I'm going to just let that go. I'm going to just, um, and then a lot of times I will smoosh, I call it. <laughs> um, let's put a little bit of the orange mixed in here as well. You just the thing is have your brush wet and really saturate this okay and usually I don't do like a whole lot of I just do a little bit of color and then I usually end up writing on it but I decided that I wanted to get it wetter and I love the crinkly pages. I don't know if Webster holds up as good as a Midori or Tomoe River, but uh, let's see. Um, okay, it's not, I'll just say it's not as good to me because um, Allie Brown put out a thing on plopping watercolor and she said that um, the Tomoe River and the Midori, because they're, uh, I think she's using Orchid, um, because they're Jap, they have a film over them and so you can just get them wet and it doesn't hurt hurt them at all. It really works well. But anyway, I just wanted to show you a little bit. Um, you can see this did bleed through a little bit. And then I forgot to do this page, so I'm going to go back and just do this one. Yeah, you can see where it bled through here. See that? I'm not liking that a whole lot. I'm going to take this reddish color next. Oop, more water. It's really acting weird. Look at that. I'm not especially 
happy with that. Just, it's not the right paper for watercoloring crazy like this, obviously, because look at how wet it's getting. Yeah, I'm not as impressed, but I'm just gonna muddle. I'm gonna muddle through, but it's just it's not the same. If you look here where I've done pages, um, the feel of the paper is a little different, and um, yeah, it's just different. But I'm not going to worry about that. I want. I was wanted to do the intro page, so I'm going to get that other piece of. Um, oh, I want to use this. I'm going to get that other heart and this. Put that in there, and um, I've got this. I like this. I might just do. Oh, that was my flower. One of my flower girls. Sweet. I might put her in there, you know. You know, do a tippin, a pocket. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. I do, I promise. It's just, uh, my brain doesn't always function the way it should here, I assume. Okay, I have some cards back here that I like. This would be kind of good. Oh, I'm actually, let's go with that one. Got several things I want to be start to be using here. Um, I want to do like a pocket, so I'm just going to do a couple of things, um, and I'm going to lay down some color first. So let's go ahead and. Get some of this in. Oh, I wish this cooperated just a tiny bit better with the water, but that's just how it is. do sell my flower girls either as tags, as dashboards, um, pretty much whatever you'd like. I sell those in my Etsy shop and the link for that is below. Ooh, hello darling. <laughs> kind of like that. <laughs> so cute. Yeah. Plus I wanted to put this on here. At least that was my intention, was putting this here, put this here, and then uh, this tucks in. That's kind of what I was thinking. So let me do that. And then um, what I really need to do is show you how um, I do my lettering as well. I'm going to just my brush dry out because I've showed you enough of the watercolor stuff so I don't feel like I need to do more of that. Just want to be sure I have this stuck on here the way we want. 
want it. Okay, and this can go here. Oops, oops, hey, cooperate. <laughs> okay, all right. There we go. Now, if it's sticking a little, um, just put a little bit of powder, baby powder, or some kind of powder on there. Rub it in. Blow it off. Don't be wearing black if you're doing that because it will be messy. <laughs> I promise you, you won't like it. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to put, I have this double, this double stick tape. You put it on. Um, you peel it off and that's all you do and you have a pocket. I have a thick one too but I love this thin one. You can get it at Michael's and probably any other craft store as well in different thicknesses. Um, you can order it on Amazon, whatever you want. I ordered a big thicker one on Amazon but this works perfect for just little things where you don't want to lose too much of your space, then this works super well for that. So this is my cover page. Um, I usually have my name and my phone number, my email um, on here someplace, just so that if this should ever get lost, um, it can get returned to me if somebody looks. So I don't want to make it like too clever because I want people to be able to find it, obviously. But I will tuck this in here and I'll probably just put it on the back of this. But then this just slips off this way and it's perfect. So I like that a lot. And I'm actually going to probably take that out while I finish prepping. So the next thing I do is um, generally, let me get a little water here. Hold on. I didn't get enough water in that jar, obviously. There we go. Let me clean this up. So generally what I like to do is um, I usually count my pages. So there's 31 days in August. So let's see what we've got. One, two, I do two per day. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Count to the middle of the book. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. This is 15, we might have a problem. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, unless I counted wrong, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, I'm hoping I'm counted wrong, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, better, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 5, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and then I can do the last page here. So I'm gonna, it's gonna make it. So I know that August 1st is a Tuesday. So usually um, I either stamp or I stencil. I just choose one of the two. My favorite stencil is this one right here. And <clears throat> you can take, um, a gel pen if you want. Um, I like to use the Le Pens, like maybe this one in brown. And so I'll do that for this part of the date. And I'll just go like this. I'll just do this one this page spread so you can see what I'm doing. And I, sometimes I stamp. I stamped last month instead. Um, 
stamping is a very messy style and when I use a stencil it's very neat so it's just what you want to do and I don't worry about getting it straight honestly I don't because there's no point so August 1st and I know it's a Tuesday so usually I come over here and I do the Tuesday part T U E S and I like doing this way actually the best because I can sit in front of the TV and do this while I watch. The trick is just not to miss a day or something, make a mistake, you know. That's it, that's all I do. And I don't do any other decorating um, until I actually do the spread. So like this one I did, I did it different. I did stamping, the messy style, and I wrote um, with one of those pens that's like a fake calligraphy tip. And that's how I did that. So that's all you do. It's super simple. Uh, when I get this done, like I said, I'm just gonna clip it shut like this so that and leave it until August 1st so that um, the book uh, cooperates um, with me when it's time to use it. But yeah, that's it. Super simple. So thank you for watching and I will see you in this insert in August. Bye.